Hi, welcome to Modeling and Simulation of Dynamical Systems. In this video, I would like to introduce another building block for bond graphs, something called junctions. Recall that in previous videos, we introduced a couple of basic elements. However, now it's time to learn how to combine them. By combining them, I mean we need some uh, tool for bringing together three or more bonds with the additional requirement that the power carried by these bonds must sum up to one. I mean, the incoming power must be equal to the outgoing power. Therefore, no power is generated, no power is stored, no power is uh, consumed. We will consider two types of uh, junctions, type 1 junction and type 0 junction. The definition of the type 1 junction is that uh, the generalized velocities on all the bonds are identical. Similarly, for type 1 junction, it's the efforts on all the bonds that are identical. The graphical symbols for type 1 junction is obviously figure 1. First, the graphical symbol for type 0 junction is obviously the figure 0. Now, combining the two definitions, we obtain additional property for type 1 junction, and namely that efforts on all the bonds sum to zero, taking their signs or coordinate system into consideration. And similarly for type 0 junction, where it's the generalized velocities or flow flows that sum to zero. And now let's have a look at a few examples of type 1 junction in mechanical domain. So we are looking for a situation where several components share the same velocity. So let's consider this standard simple situation of a mass of a cart interconnected through spring and damper with the external world. The mass M, there is an external force F. This is the coordinate system for both the velocity and the mutual forces. And we can capture all this using just a single type 1 junction with four bonds. One bond, one bond represents the compliance, the other one losses in the resistor, and the third one the inertance, and the fourth one uh, is for the external force. Now let's take this scenario uh, a little bit further and let's see uh, how things change if instead of a spring and damper we will have just two dampers. If we write down the force balance equation here, we can immediately recognize that instead of just two dampers, we could consider uh, one damper uh, B, from which we can draw a general conclusion that uh, for type 1 junction, resistances add. That is, R is equal to R1 plus R2. Now, how about uh, the same situation, but now with two springs? Again, looking at the equation, the corresponding force, the force corresponding to the two springs looks like this, from which again we can conclude that while the stiffnesses add, add the compliances uh, are the inverses. So 1 over C is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. And the last scenario uh, for type 1 junction when we are combining or actually attaching one uh, mass to another, since the uh, momentums must uh, add, hence the masses mass must add as well, and the general conclusion is that inertances add. Now let's have a look at uh, an example in electrical domain. Recall that here uh, type uh, 1 junction means that we have a common current which in electrical domain can be represented like this. So three impedances and a series, again, type 1 junction with four uh, bounds. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with electronics, this is the standard Kirchhoff's uh, voltage law. Finally, hydraulic, uh, hydraulic system, an example of a hydraulic system. So we may have a pump, valve, hydraulic motor, and a reservoir. Hydraulic motor, even though it... Uh, uses or directs some of the energy into the mechanical domain, it uh, directs all the flow into the reservoir, right? Hence, in the whole system, we only have a single flow, volumetric flow, Q. 
So it can be described using the following bone graph, type 1 junction with four bonds, depending on how much we model in the system. And finally, uh, examples of type 0 junctions in mechanical domain. So we are looking for a situation where both participating uh, bodies feel the same force. So let's just consider this spring with different uh, velocities on its ends. So even though the velocities are different, both ends feel the same magnitude of force. So we can capture this using type 0 junctions like this, which by the way also gives us, in, in terms of velocities, gives us the relative velocity, which is what matters for the accumulator of the energy. And in fact, this, it, the situation is identical for a resistor. Of course, uh, there is no accumulation of energy in the resistor. Just uh, We are just burning it. Nonetheless, the amount of energy again depends on the relative velocity. Now, I will leave it up to you to see how to find the equivalent, per, uh, the equivalent uh, spring stiffness or actually compliance and resistance for this interconnection of springs and dampers. In electrical domain, the places with the same voltage are called nodes, hence type 0 junction can be used to represent a node in electrical circuit. So this is pretty, pretty intuitive, I guess. And hydraulic domain, uh, type 0 junction means the same pressure everywhere. So let's consider this particular scenario, a pipe to which a reservoir is attached, then some porous plug. So part of the flow goes uh, goes on, part of the flow then uh, is uh, goes to the reservoir, and part of the flow goes through through the porous plug. Yeah, and actually I should have started by by placing the label for the common pressure here. 